want to talk about with Battle Mage is there's a lot of design changes as well that have gone into you know certain areas to the hardware that have been improved drastically compared to Alchemist. So yes. when when we're talking about things like game compatibility, how much of that is on the driver side of things, fixing up you know the the code, the incompatibilities that you were talking about, versus some of these significant IP changes that you've made to Battle Mage? Where's the sort of balance lying? You know, that's a great question, Tim. I would say that in general, um, anything that can be expressed in a shader, and, and so if you can express it in a shader, then that can be a source of incompatibility if we don't interpret it exactly the same way as the larger established um, participants do. So SIMD16, SIMD32 is a great example of that, where in, inside of a, a compute shader, you can actually have an implicit um, understanding of the data width of SIMD in the architecture that you're running on. And you can code that up and, and it should work multi-vendor, but the truth is that puts a lot of pressure in different places of our design if we don't have the exact same support that say NVIDIA does have as an example. So we've um, we've taken that to heart and now we are supporting SIMD32, I'm sorry, SIMD16 natively with a, sim, a simple um, uh, emulation for SIMD32. So say, say it's like that kind of uh, learning execute indirect is another great example where we've we've learned from compatibility. This is a much more utilized feature than we expected. That's moved it directly into hardware implementation. So it's that kind of stuff that's over time learning where those uh, critical sort of like IP hardware requirements come from, and then adopting. And then of course, as we make more and more changes to our IP going forward, we now have a huge backlog of both tests and driver tests and micro benchmarks that make it easier for us to stay kind of in that compatibility um, circle. So are some of these hardware changes that you're talking about, is that going to reduce the inconsistency that we might see between games? Because obviously there's some games that run really well on Arc and there's others that have struggled compared to you know similar sort of hardware from your competitors. Yeah, I would say that in the past on Alchemist, we've had utilization issues where effectively we've got this great sort of compute capability, but kind of getting in the way of ourselves with things that are doing orchestration of the work on into the into the compute engine. So a lot of that is complex DX things that have been dramatically simplified. So our DX9 driver, as an example, has been rewritten from the ground up. And now you can see already on Alchemist, we're doing way, way, way better performance, like not just like 10%, but like 2x better on DX9. So clearly we had a lot of work to do on the driver side to get to the point where we really wanted to be which is delivering more efficient use of our hardware platform. And I feel like Battlemates just continues that trend. You know, we're delivering some amazing power numbers. We're delivering really good performance at a smaller configuration than the A750. Yeah, I mean, that's certainly one of the areas that was very impressive to see with some of those hardware configuration changes. I guess with Alchemist, you know, you're talking about utilization issues and that sort of thing. Did did the overall hardware design you know, with the performance that you were getting out of it, did that fall short of the expectations that you were hoping from that GPU? Like you were hoping it to perform a bit a bit better than it did? Well, it depends on what period of time you're talking about. Obviously, as we get closer to launch, we have a better understanding of what it is. So certainly by the time we launched, we kind of knew where we were. And that's why, if you remember, there was a series of conversations that I had with Ryan, that I had with uh, even Raja, talking about the hardware potential of the device and the fact that we didn't, we weren't really happy with how uh, we were landing it at that moment, but that we were committed to improving things over the next, you know, six to nine months. And that's exactly what we did. So I would say if you go further back in time, like maybe two years before launch, clearly we had expectations that were higher because we didn't understand really in detail the inefficiencies of our implementation of the software and hardware you know, kind of compact. Mm. It's not It's not accurate to say it's a hardware problem or a software problem. It's just the combined system was not really ready to scale like we expected. We're coming from an integrated architecture that had a very different constraint, meaning that uh, 99% of the time you are GPU limited. Like your, your GPUs are so small that if the CPU takes a little bit more work, no big deal because you're waiting around for the GPU anyway. But when we went to Alchemist, that flipped 100%. And all of a sudden, the inefficiencies that were in our implementation uh, came to the fore. So that's that's really big learning for us over the last couple of years. And I, I'm very excited about where we are today with Battlemage, though, because the performance is incredible, the perp for watts incredible, and uh, we've come a long way. So has that shortened the, I guess, gap between expectations and the final performance for Battlemage? Like you're 
you've been a lot more confident with how it's come out compared to what you were expecting two years ago? Oh yeah, we've we've invested heavily in both our ability to model silicon early on, our architectural modeling. Also, we're doing a lot more emulation. So we are building these things completely in uh, FPGA kind of emulation environments and running real benchmarks way before we get to silicon. So our our infrastructure is now much more modern. Our and our attention to uh, sort of let's call it real game performance versus benchmarks is much higher. That was a, an early learning as well. We we had a, an early focus on benchmarks, and if you remember, Alchemist did shockingly well on benchmarks, but uh, it didn't really hold that trend when it ran real real titles. That was back in that goes way back to like how did we optimize? We optimized for benchmark, not exactly optimizing for real games, and that's another. Uh, you know, big mistake that's gotten corrected in Battle Mage. 